due just due to her high mobility. Pac-Man yep. cannot corner her, and she has so many ways just to get past Hydrant, and which is Pac-Man's game main plan. And you see the Hydrant already just down and use. Ooh, but, but, but the worst thing that you really don't want to be doing is just sort of locking yourself into all that lag from a distance uh, by hitting Hydrant like that. So Gadget Boy trying to get a bit of space for themselves, but Ascension is already just like, you know, full throttle holding in. Yeah, and we saw Gadget Boy just play a bit more aggressive, but Ascension just already adapting to the aggressive play, saying this is not the everyday hype. Pac-Man that was going to camp me out, but just more in my face. And Pac-Man is able to display those buttons. Yeah, I feel like Ascension's are going to be like throwing out like a lot of side Bs, and some of these are not really that punishable, but each time that they are hitting Hydrant with side B, um, they're not really getting that much off of it, doesn't knock it away. Is that down smash up B going to kill? Not quite yeah. yet. You need a little bit more percent onto the board. Yeah, and hitting the Hydrant does steal your move, so if he w wants to kill with those with that, it's just not going to kill as early, like right there. Yeah, Pac-Man was still like a pretty low percent, but... Uh, definitely does not help that the move was, in fact, uh, stale from there. Oh, that was... Honestly, I, I, I like what they were going for. If they were able to knock up the Hydrant and then try to ledge trap, might have been able to cover all of Pac-Man's options. I'm so surprised that they Still all safe. No flip kick. It's done. Done yep. Who thought the Hydrant would be the one to take it? Flip kick and double jump. As, as long as you, you know, are able to stuff those out from Zero Suit Samus off stage, suddenly she's so much easier to edge guard, and you notice, like, oh wow, wait, her up B doesn't reach all that much length. So Ascension has to be a little bit more conservative uh, with their usage. Yeah, and both players just grabbing the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Ah, oh, doesn't uh, actually find the follow up a little bit too slow after the up smash, yeah. uh, and Gadget Boy was able just to, you know, throw down a high trip. Yeah. All right. Just trying to grab through the hydrant and using the Zare to clank with the hydrant. If you throw out a hitbox while the hydrant is in like tumble at tumble state, it will clank and you won't get hit anymore. Yeah. Yeah, the re-hit rate will no longer affect you from then on. So right now, we just seeing Ascension try to play back a little bit. Gadget Boy with no falling mix-ups, no hydrant on deck, but it's still going to be able to push in. Ascension just has to be a little bit more wary of the burst range, but... Not fully finding that follow-up. Needed to dash in before that up, up uh, the upbeat. Yeah. And this this is not looking so great for Gadget Boy. He's now playing on the back end after just taking a clean stock so early like that. I love all these landing mix-ups. He's, ma he's making himself so ambiguous. A lot of double jumps, a lot of hydrogen stalling. But is that flip kick upbeat going to be able to do it? Yes, it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the SS staple, man. Yeah, uh, after like 90%, there is truly no hope for re-mashing out, uh, so... Th th if there is, it's slim. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, the apple on deck. No, I lied, it was an orange. Uh, you know... Oh, wow. Is that how you could have killed? No, no, not quite yet. Yeah. Had the F-Smash connected, that definitely would have been able to do it, but great coverage. That would have been able to get both neutral get up and a goal, uh, and Ascension, like... Was already like as soon as they saw that projectile come out, they're immediately pressing a ledge option. Yeah. One big thing from Gadget Boy I'd like to see, I don't know why they're not pulling Galaxian or Bell as much. Because yeah. those feel like the Pac-Man staples uh, that you want to have, especially for low percent and then finding kills with Bell. Yeah, it's just they're uh, opting for just different fruit and maybe they're just playing a bit more nervous. Cause it we don't this is our first time hearing about them, so we don't know if this yeah. is one of the first tournaments that they're going to. Or the first time even on stream, but they're managing to keep it in. They're going tack for tack with Ascension. Yeah, Gadget Boy keeps on double jumping out of the corner. Ascension still has yet to find a way to be able to call him out for it, but as soon as you stuff out that double jump from Pac Man and put him into that position, you can find an edge guard. So I'd really, really like to see that from Ascension. Just like a jump back at it. Yeah. There it is again. Alright, I see the cherry. But nothing again. Okay, F tilt just to get out the corner. Oh, this is still anybody's game right now. Gadget Point landing a little bit too aggressively. That side B going to be putting them into another juggle. Look at that double jump come out. And then the Hydrogen stalling. And yet, Ascension tunnel visioning into hitting the Hydrogen and not tracking where Gadget Boy is going. Yeah, just so close minded on that thing. And we've seen a Galactic, but it's, you're already at 96%. You don't want any more damage. You want to go for the kill. <gasps> Ooh. I don't know why ZSS slip like that. Is that F Smash gonna do it? Yes, it is. A gadget boy giving us a little bit of a pop off. That yeah. was a bit of a. It is it it tense. You know, the pressure is on. Yeah. Definitely a fan of SpongeBob, too. Looking at that shirt. <laughs> so, how did Gadget Boy get this F Smash? I'm curious. What what, right. what led up to this? All right. Crossed up shield safely? Oh, no. No, no cross up. With that grab? 
Yeah, just missing the punish, getting the parry from the yeah. up smash, and then into that up smash across stage, taking it. That parry is pretty important to land too. That was actually pretty optimal uh, yeah. on behalf of Gadget. So when ZSS does up smash on your shield, if you hold yourself in shield and lock yourself into shield for the whole duration of the move, it's going to be relatively safe. However, there is some counter play. You can try to spot dodge uh, in between one of the bigger gaps of the hits, and then you can find a kill. Or you can time your shield drop, which is a little bit more difficult, but Gadget Boy was just able to capitalize off of that so well. Yeah. It was him. And... Try to down air the hydrant, just not breaking it right there. Yeah, the Sanction keeps on trying to hit the hydrant. Yeah, just locked into that idea. So if I were Gadget Boy, I just want to throw out Hydrant and just see, hey, as a Sanction, what am I, you know, what are they going to do? Are they going to go run up and hit it? Because they consistently jump forward or just dashing back and side beam. And honestly, if Gadget Boy had like a key on hand, uh, they'd be able to cover almost all of these responses from Ascension. Yeah. There was that wave bounce side beat again on the Hydrant. Yeah, and we've seen the small battlefield pick for the lower stage, but it just not seem to be working out because they're just so focused on the Hydrant. They're not even looking at Pac-Man to hit at the current moment yeah it's it's like you know it's kind of like a waving like a big red flag yeah. and it and and you just you just locking your eyes on it and that's all that you see you quite literally see red at that moment so oh i love the idea from gadget boy but uh not gonna be punished on that up smash zero suit not gonna be able to drop down through the plat fast enough yeah this is just not working out and we see clacked in and oh just getting hit by the hydrant to the face Ascension keeps on trying to hit Hydrant. Was that another side beat? That was another. I forgot what was the exact thing, but it's just not working out. Yeah. Oh, and they were going to be seeing the bell. That oh. was interesting. I thought they maybe would have been able to get re-hit by the bell, but not yeah. entirely sure if that's... Yeah, uh, once the bell is out the first time, you can't get really re-hit in that situation. Yeah. If anything, it has to be like really, really tight. But yeah. these great chases uh, from Gadget Boy using dash attack. I, you know what? These preemptive up smashes are really good because uh, Ascension was previously flip kicking into that space before. Yeah. So th there it is again, but just a little bit too slow on the execution. They yeah. just need to let it rip sooner. So yeah, Gadget Boy just using all the tools handy just to make work of this matchup. Here it is, that Perry again. Gadget Boy has those punishes on deck, yeah, honestly. Definitely has the ZSS frame at home. Yeah. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's exactly what you want to be doing. Extending the hitbox on Hydrant and Ascension just ends up running into it. That's a bit of an awkward interaction. No punish on the whiff grab, though. Whenever you're fighting somebody with a tether or just a really long and laggy grab, you have to just recognize when they whiff it and throw anything. You can, you can kill them. Yeah, and we are already seeing this game just run rampant right now. Gadget Boy just taking the lead. They keep on trying to hit the Hydrant, and Gadget Boy is consistently using that as the opening to be able to land. Could be set. Oh. Yeah, at this point, it just seems Ascension is just like definitely close minded. Just wants the game to kind of be over. Yeah. Just playing themselves out of the game. Up that time, they held on to the flip kick really, really well and ends up rolling right into the down smash. So Gadget Boy going to be taking it with a pretty confident 3 0 over Ascension. Yep. Or 2 0. Oh, or 3 0. 2 0, 3 stock, yeah. yeah. <laughs> some some person that just tuned in, oh, everything's best of five. Absolutely <laughs> not, no. no. We'd, be, we'd be going home tomorrow if that was the case. Oh. Don't worry, we'll make bracket quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I just feel like Gadget Boy was able to recognize, like, hey, Ascension's really swinging at something that's not me. Every time that they're getting back off the stage, Gadget Boy was just able to recover high. So a lot of what Zero, Zero Suit's gameplay is, is finding two frames with down smash, finding ledge traps. Gadget Boy was just avoiding all of that altogether. They were uh, double jumping and then uh, Hydra installing uh, and never ever actually finding themselves at the ledge. As a result, I feel like Ascension was not able to play the game a little bit. Every time that Hydrogen was out, they focused on that instead of swinging um, at Gadget Boy. And I think Gadget Boy just capitalized on that really well. Yeah, no, definitely.